Hey guys, welcome back to Lux Life TV. I'm back with, I don't want to say a bag review. Um, if you guys have watched my first video where I talk about um, brands on a budget, it's kind of similar to that. Now, we all know how popular the Neverfull is. I have, uh, and this is not a rep, this is, uh, you know, an original. So I have the Neverfull in the monogram print in the mm size so this is the medium size and that's what it looks like inside it's not so bright um let me see if i can if this helps all right so it's got the i forgot the name of the color but it's like a dark magenta lining and the new mm oh the new neverfuls come with the pouch i just attached it actually maybe if i can show you it like this you might see the color more um Maybe, maybe not. I apologize, I'm filming again in my favorite spot outside. Um, but for the most part, yes, it's a dark pink color. I've had this bag for a little over a year and I know how popular this bag is. Now, this isn't a rep, but if you're looking for a good rep, um, check out my first video, Brands on a Budget. Um, I'll link it down below. It'll also have my blog posts uh, and all the information over you can get good reps. Um, this is an original though. And these run well over a thousand dollars. Um, the bag is made out of canvas, like you guys know. The trimming is the only part that's leather. And then a little bit of the inside, so like the leather tab around the zipper. That's uh, the only part that's leather, you know, and then a little bit over here. If you want to like, you know, cinch the bag shut. So what I'm basically trying to talk about today is not just how beautiful this bag is. As much as I love it, I don't, I can't say it's the most practical purchase out there. If you guys want um, a tote that's similar, way cheaper, uh, and that's made out of leather, I have an awesome one for you. Now, Dooney and Burke. Um, have some great bags. We all know the brand. Uh, there's a lot of YouTubers that talk about Dooney. And uh, a particular tote that they had, which they discontinued, I feel, for a while, they have bought back in the Florentine leather, and that's the Russell tote. Now, I have one here. This is the medium size um, in the color mauve, and it is Florentine leather. It's seen better days. It's empty. That's why it's kind of caving in. But immediately you can tell there's a huge size difference and they're both medium sized bags. I will take pictures and insert them um, somewhere in the video for you guys to see um, how they look side to side. I will put the information and the info on the dimensions and everything down below so you guys can check it out. But uh, Dooney and Burke, like I said, made the Russell tote. They had it in three sizes. They had uh, a large, which I think would be comparable to the Louis Vuitton Neverfull in the GM size. They have it in the medium, which is what I just showed you, and they have it in the small. I have a small somewhere and I can't find it, but I would say the small is a bit smaller than the MM. I, I wouldn't want to say it's the PM size if you want to go by Neverfull standards. It's just a tad smaller than this. But the dimensions of this bag, considering it's a medium tote, and considering this is a medium tote, you're getting more, more bag for your money here. Um, first off, it's all leather. And it's maybe a tenth of the price. The Louis Vuitton bags obviously run for over a thousand bucks. You can find this for, I think, around between the three to four hundred range. Um, and they do have duty pay where you can pay for it every month. I think this is around three hundred bucks. And it, like I said, pure leather. You get the luggage tag on this bag as well. And I've heard rumors, I don't know how far it's true, that if you want to buy a luggage piece through Louis Vuitton, you have to verify they actually own luggage. They kind of stop selling um, the luggage tags just for regular accessories. You have to own luggage. I don't know how far that's true, but that's what I've heard. The second thing is this has a zipper in the bag and the zipper is huge. You can, my, my, almost my whole hand fits inside. So it's almost maybe six inches, I can say. And inside you have the two slip pockets here. 
you have one big slip pocket in the back, and then you have the zipper pocket over here. I'm sorry. So here you go. Okay, and the base of this bag is just about six inches as well, maybe six and a half. Like I said, I'll post uh, the link to this bag down below so you guys can check it out like in more detail. And it has the suede, um, I guess, lip, you want to say. It's not lined. But if you're worried about anybody getting into this bag, you have the magnetic closure in the middle, but you also have these buttons on each side that give you maximum security while carrying this bag. Uh, the only downside is, yes, this bag is a tad heavier than this one. We have to remember this is canvas. Um, the only thing I don't like about um, these canvas bags from Louis Vuitton is that God forbid something happens to the canvas, you're stuck. Whereas if something happens to the leather part of the bag, you can get it replaced. Now I don't know how uh, well you can see this, but the Vachetta leather here, it's patinaed a bit more than it has on this side. It's because this side got damaged and I recently got it replaced. That's why they look two different colors. Um, other than that, it looks like it's been in great condition. It's been loved. I don't want to say well loved, but it's been loved. The reason I don't carry this around a lot is the strap, the handle drop here. It's not favorable when you're wearing a huge hoodie like this or a big jacket. So once the colder weather starts, I tend to put this bag away. I'm also somebody that likes to carry a lot of stuff with me. So the Depth of this bag is not a lot. I'm sorry, you're not going to be able to see it that way. Here we go. This, and I'm using my hand as a measurement. Usually, if you stretch your middle finger and your thumb, the max here is usually about six inches. This falls short of six inches. Um, I would use an organizer with this bag because it will sag, but mine's still in awesome condition. It's weather friendly ish i mean I, I i wouldn't take it out of the pouring rain because it's still an open pit you know what i mean with this bag honestly uh, a lot of people i don't want to say baby but they are a bit more careful with their florentine leather bags honestly i spray a protectant over this and i have taken my florentine bags out and i have many this is just one of them out in all sorts of weather i have the florentine satchel i have Another um, tote like this. Actually, I have more Florentine satchels because I'm, I'm a bit obsessed. I even have a Florentine backpack. The Murphy bag, I think is what it's called. And I used that while I was in India. And in India, while I was there, it was monsoon. Did I take it out in the pouring rain? No. I had an umbrella, but the bag did get wet. And uh, this type of leather, if it does get wet, I, don't, I won't send the pouring rain. If you get drops or whatever on it, it'll darken and it will dry on its own. Um, I don't do anything too special. I'll condition it just a little bit if I see it getting dry. But I have used this type of leather in all sorts of weather. So I think it is an amazing deal. It's the same kind of look. It doesn't look as delicate with the straps. I mean, these are pretty stiff. They're not going to fall down as easy. Whereas here, you know... With the never full, they'll flap down. You know, if that's the look you're looking for, maybe this isn't the type of bag for you. But never full and the Russell tote for, for me is pretty much the same sort of idea. You know, I mean, you can pack a lot of stuff in this. This is the biggest size I have. Like I said, they do have a large size, which I've seen people use as a weekend bag. You can really stuff it. This will hold your laptop. And all of the stuff you would need on a day-to-day -day basis. You can probably like carry shoes in this too. It's huge. I mean, again, it's just under. I mean, but I think width-wise, this bag is wider than the Neverfull. Again, don't worry. I will put the links down below so you guys can check out comparisons. I will take pictures of them side to side. But if you're looking for a similar look in a way cheaper budget, I think this is the way to go because you're paying for thick, like sturdy leather. Um, this bag empty does weigh a little bit more than the Neverfull would because the Neverfull, like I said, is can uh, canvas. But if you're a leather person, trust me, go with this tote. Uh, if you guys want to see a what's in my bag or what I can fit in this, do let me know in the comments down below and I will show you. Uh, or if you guys want to see a comparison of what my Neverfull holds in comparison to this, I can do that as well. But honestly, this is a better deal. Or if you guys want 
this look, this print, or even the checkerboard uh, prints in the blue or the regular brown. Uh, check out my previous video, uh, Brands on a Budget, when I did the Speedy 30 Bandolier video. And I will have that video posted down below. If you watch that video, you guys will find out about where I um, suggest you guys buy reps. Um, I want to say one thing very clearly. If you guys want to get a certain look, it's your choice how you guys go about doing it. I mean, this I was... Uh, lucky enough to get as a gift. It was a very generous gift. Uh, I do have some original pieces, some aren't. It's all up to you. I'm not shooting anybody down. I'm not favoring any one side. But like I said, if you guys want to get quality, you got to pay for quality. But this is a really good way to go. They have a whole bunch of colors. They have friends and family going on right now also, so you might even get 25% off of this. So keep an eye out. If you guys have a Dooney and Burke, um, outlet you might even get a bigger discount so keep an eye out and um yeah i'd say this is a great deal but again it's all up to you and um yeah let me know if you guys want to see a what's in my bag or something similar what this bag can hold i will do that for you gladly and until our next video take care bye